So uh, just basically tell people why they should come see your poster. We'll try to be pretty strict on time because everyone can talk for ages about their research. That's why we're here. Um, so I'll have even a timer and be ruthless. Uh, okay, um, go ahead, make your name and what you're going to be presenting, and cool. <clears throat> okay, hi everybody, I'm, uh, I'm Christian, I'm a PhD student doing neuroscience at the ETH Zurich, and I'm here to present a small software package I wrote, it's called BehaviorPy, and um, it's basically designed to allow you to analyze and uh, plot behavioral data a bit easier. It's not a huge package as, as for instance, BioPython or something like that. It's really just rudimentary and mainly it's a collection of boilerplate code which allows you to interface with Matplotlib, Seaborn, uh, stats models, SciPy, and other libraries which you would need to make the, the common plots which you use for behavioral data analysis. Uh, I think it's quite interesting and important simply because in the field of behavioral data analysis you usually rely on very convoluted workflows and a lot of proprietary software and this has helped me streamline my workflow a lot and I think if any of you is working with behavioral data or you have colleagues working with behavioral data it could help you a lot as well so come on by the poster and that's it thank you hi I'm Stephanie and I would like to present um, an image analysis framework to um, automatically detect and measure plant uh, fungus structures. And the aim of the tool is to replace a lot of manual, um, very laborious manual work scoring like a microscopy with an automated solution. And also because I'm a self-learner, I uh, would like to get uh, some ideas and help and suggestions about uh, large image uh, processing or code uh, refactoring and testing and such stuff. So hope to see you there. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Florian, and uh, I'm a master's student from Zurich, and I'll be presenting code I wrote for my master thesis um, to optimize experiment designs for um, functional magnetic resonance imaging experiments in neuroscience. Um, those are stimulus-evoked um, experiments. And I also developed the system based on the Pi board and MicroPython that can um, deliver stimulus sequencing uh, for these experiments. Hi, I'm Robert and I'm developing a package called SphiPy. It's simple finite elements in Python. And uh, it's a package for um, solving partial differential equations. And on my poster, I'm presenting an application built on top of that, which uh, is uh, using SphiPy to solve quantum mechanical problems or to do up initial quantum mechanical calculations. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Giovanni. I consider myself to be a software engineer for science. I enjoy uh, writing Python for uh, high performance Python uh, algorithms for science groups. And in particular, I've been uh, uh, engaging myself with the textual statistical analysis uh, research group. And uh, <clears throat> we have been uh, using PyPy as a just in time compiler, doing a, 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 a specific application for doing textual analysis on uh, big data corpora specifically on La Repubblica, Italian newspaper, 10 years, number 400,000 uh, articles, 12 millions of types, and uh, uh, 268,000 uh, tokens. So I have results and benchmark on my poster. You are welcome to see. Hi, I am Vladimir. Uh, the topic of our poster is multi-scale computational homogenization in 
SvPy. We use SvPy simple finite elements for numerical simulation of multiscale problems. We have developed a so-called homogenization engine, which allows to solve multiscale problems by means of homogenization theory, of asymptotic homogenization theory. Uh, it leads to the decoupling of the problem to the macroscopic problem and to microscopic subproblems, which can be solved in parallel to speed up computation. So for me, more information, visit our, our poster stand. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Nicoletta Glinazzi, and uh, my poster talks about game theory, more specifically talks about a game called The Prisoner's Dilemma. And what's quite interesting about the game is that the integrated version actually has a lot of research behind it. And in the 1980s, a man called Robert Axelrod decided to run a computer tournament when instead of people playing the game, uh, he had people write code to play the game. And um, so my poster focuses on three specific questions. And I am doing this using an open source library called the actual Python library, uh, which is something that I use in my research daily. So please come by and say hi. So, hello, my name is Mike, and my post is actually about a very silly, very simple topic, how to store experimental data. So, suppose you do an experiment with several factors, and now you want to store your results, and I show you a naive way and the good way, obviously with pandas, so come over and we can talk about it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, I think that's uh, everyone for now. Um, so, go on, enjoy the posters. Um, remember that we have the social event at 7, which is quite a bit of a walk. So, <laughs> And at 5.30, we have uh, the discussion on how to organize uh, Euro SciPy for next year in the room over there. Uh, so thanks, everyone, and enjoy the poster session. <laughs>